Hello dear radio amateur colleagues and space enthusiasts. This is a little how-to uh, in order to help you to connect our friend encoder and decoder uh, to your transceiver so that you can uh, send some commands to our satellite in order to obtain the telemetry and the housekeeping data from our little bird. First you have to make sure that the transceiver audio output is connected to the audio input of your sound card. This can be a microphone, better would be to connect it to the line input. Then in Windows you have to configure your standard audio input device. Also, it is important to verify that the audio signals is passing through your speaker system so that you can hear the audio signals generated from your transceiver when it's becoming RENS telemetry and housekeeping data. Then you go to your RAN decoder uh, and encoder folder and start the program. Windows will ask you if you trust uh, this program. Here, of course, you have to say yes. So next thing to do is to connect the RS232 serial cable between your computer and your transceiver. Uh, this program uses the RTS pin of the COM port to trigger the TX of your radio for commanding. If your computer is a laptop and maybe has no RS232 serial uh, device, then you should use an USB2 serial connector additionally. The next task you just connect uh, the program to your uh, sound card adapter. Uh, this is really simple, just uh, activate. Now I open a pre-recorded uh, WAV file in the media player in order to show you how to generate the activate command and how our little satellite RAN will respond to such an activate command. So for that purpose we push the big activate command button After a short moment, Ren respond. So if this happened, you should have obtained some telemetry and housekeeping data. And now you click on the CAM ON command button located at the red box. Now push the SSTV command button. So this will induce the slow scan TV transmission in Martin 1 format. So this is it for the theory, but now let's have a look on the real side of the life. Currently the ground station of the University of Applied Sciences of Aachen uses ZPC32 for guiding the antenna. For the antenna guidance we use the uh, software ZPC32. At the upper side of the left screen there is a little window with a list of TLEs we are going to try in order to find Vren. For that purpose we use daily updated TLEs from UNISAT 5 from 2013-066 AA and AB and also TLEs that have been suggested by some colleagues or by you after they or you have found REN with them. The TLE that we are using, that's the TLE that you see in the top of the left screen, this little window of REN, that's the uh, TLE of Dimitri. We use, uh, of course, the TLE of UNISAT 5 as uh, the people uh, the of the $50 set uh, suggested us to use this. Actually, they find their satellite uh, using this TLE uh, just some minutes after uh, UNISAT 5 has passed and uh, yeah as we have been injected uh, uh, first and then uh, UNISAT uh, uh, $50 set just behind us using the same slot uh, so we shouldn't be really far away from then 
Uh, we also use uh, TLE the 2013 AA and the 2013 AB as the both TLEs are following REN uh, really shortly uh, but you see also a lot of other satellites in the same of the same slot so in the right screen you see we use Audacity it's a pretty freeware software for uh, recording the audios most of the time yeah we record uh, just some noise but uh, we hope that uh, one time we will find Ren and then you also see the decoder software and that we are pushing and pushing again the activate button and uh, hopefully get some signals of Ren and that's what we are asking you also to do just the same and uh, we hope that uh, someone of you guys will find our little wren and uh, yeah we need you we need you really and uh, i am really happy that there is so much people trying to find wren and uh, yeah i would say it's a race we know that uh, wren uh, is pop most probably alive as Kirkton uh, found uh, Ren, he got the signal, it was a really um, choppy signal, but uh, we know our signals from Ren and we recognize the sound of our little bird, of our little baby and yeah, that's really, that's really amazing, that's, that's great. You know, we try and we, we are searching in the sky and we hope that we will have this signal. So, guys, uh, I'm really happy that you helped us. Please, please keep on. We don't give up. And, uh, yeah, the only thing that I can say is is to uh, express my uh, gratefulness uh, that uh, you are willing to help us. And, uh, yeah, I'm really exhausted about this. Also, as we are really rookies in space engineering, as you know, uh, if you have suggestions uh, what we probably could do better, or obviously had to do better in order to get signals, please, please, please tell us. We are uh, still in a stage of learning. So, uh, I think that's for all. Now I better should return to my ground station and uh, make my work. So I wish a good night to everyone and uh, let's see us uh, tomorrow or surely tonight. Anyway, I will be at the ground station uh, trying to capture our little bird. Cheers and thank you.